of e to the power of x over 20 it will be e to the power of x over 10 and the square of 2 is 4 so e to the power of x over 10 over 4 can be written as e to the power of x over 20 divided by 2 that quantity raised to the power of 2 did you understand that because if you raise the numerator to the power of 2 you get this 2 squared is 4 all right minus one half and how do you write this as the square of a quantity e to the power of negative x over 10 over 4 can be written as e to the power of negative x over 20 over 2 the quantity raised to the power of 2 all right so this is now of a form a squared minus one half plus b squared right that is divided by dx to quantity raised to the power of 2 we want 1 plus that quantity raised to the power of 2 what all we need to do is on the right side you add a 1 that is 1 plus all this quantity and the only change that will come there is 1 minus 1 half will become positive 1 half so as a result of adding this one, this negative one half became positive one half. So that's what you have. All right. Now, is it possible to write this as the square of a single quantity? If you remember what we did here. Now, look at this, what we did here. This one. This quantity is actually the square of something like this so what is this a squared plus one half plus b squared can you write it as a plus b raised to the power of two yes you can look at this our a is e to the power of x over 20 over 2 plus our b is e to the power of negative x over 20 over 2 and this quantity raised to the power of 2. Now, if you have difficulty, try and expand it. This will be a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. Is that right? Now, that will be... Let's, let's uh, expand the right side. Let me show, try and show that to you. And I'm going to expand this quantity all right remember when you square this what will happen when you square this this will become e to the power of x over 10 and this will become 4 so square of that will be e to the power of x over 10 over 4 that is the square of this if you square that plus 2ab 2 times a is e to the power of x over 20 divided by 2 b is e to the power of negative x over 20 divided by 2 plus square of the last one will be e to the power of negative x over 10 divided by 4 now look at this when you expand this a plus b all squared is a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. Now what is this? Here this 2 and 2 goes, there is a 1 half left. And this multiplied by this will be 1, which is therefore our 1 half. So obviously this quantity is written as the sum of a and b raised to the power of 2. So that's a little challenging for some of you. I know that. But uh, try and understand that algebra there. So what we have done here is this quantity is a squared plus 1 half plus b squared is written as a plus b all to the power of 2. When you expand it, actually it comes to this. The reason is 
the middle term 2AB will simplify to be one half. Okay, well, that will make our life a lot easier because this quantity is 1 plus dy by dx all squared. We wrote it as the square of a quantity. Therefore, what is square root of that quantity? Square root of 1 plus dy by dx all squared is square root of this quantity, which is therefore, take away that power 2, is this. And what all we need to do now is to integrate this quantity from x equal to negative 20 to x equal to positive 20. That will give you the length of that catenary. There you go. So s equal to integral a to b square root 1 plus dy by dx all squared dx. And that will be integral negative 20 to 20 if you cannot see this properly you can actually see it in the powerpoint that you have printed out it will be integral negative 20 to 20 e to the power of x over 20 over 2 plus e to the power of negative x over 20 over 2 dx all right now the challenge is for you to integrate each of these quantities all right, let me see whether you can do that. How do you integrate e to the power of a quantity? All right, tell me, what is integral of e to the power of ax? Integral e to the power of ax is e to the power of ax divided by a. Now, in our case, it is it is different, is that right? Yes. So, what is integral of e to the power? What is integral of e to the power x over 20 over 2? Now, if you look at this, let me write it like this. That will be 1 half e to the power 120 times x. Is that right? x over 20 is 120 times x. And if you integrate this, one half can be out, and that will be, if you remember the first thing I showed you, integral e to the power of ax is e to the power of ax over a, and our a here is 1 over 20. So that will be 1 half e to the power 120 over x is x over 20 divided by 1 over 20. Our a is 1 over 20. And remember, divided by 1 over 20, this 20 will go up. That will give you 20 divided by 2 is 10 e to the power of x over 20. Is that right? Integral e to the power of x over 20 all divided by 2 will be this. Alright, you need to practice integrating these quantities. Alright, so what we have here, let's integrate each of these terms. So that will be one half times, one half is that two there, one half times, e to the power of x over 20 divided by 1 over 20, that is integrating that, minus, why, why does the minus sign come? Because when you integrate, there will be a negative 1 over 20. Now, if this sign, if you want to leave that as positive, it will be plus 1 half, e to the negative x over 20 divided by negative 1 over 20. It is that negative that makes that sign negative there. All right. So what is now this equal to? As I told you, this 20 will go up. It will be 20 divided by 2 e to the power of x over 20 minus 20 divided by e to the negative x over 20. And you can factor out that 10. So that 10 times e to the power x over 20 
minus e to the power negative x over 20 and the lower limit is negative 20 the upper limit is positive 20. Let's apply the upper limit first replace x by positive 20 that would be 10 times watch how that is done the upper limit is 20 e to the power of 20 divided by 20 minus e to the power of negative 20 divided by 20 the upper limit minus now the lower limit e to the power of negative 20 divided by 20 minus e to the power of look at this this negative minus 20 become positive 20 divided by 20 now the upper limit minus the lower limit that quantity is multiplied by 10 and what is this it will be 10 times e to the power of 1 minus e to the power of negative 1 minus e to the power of negative 1 minus e to the power of 1 simplify that that will be 10 times that is e minus 1 over e is that right e to the power of negative 1 is 1 over e minus 1 over e plus e that will be e plus e is 2e minus 1 over e minus 1 over e is minus 2 over e so that will be 10 times 2e minus 2 over e and therefore I can factor out a 2 and that 2 multiplied by 10 will give you 20 so the length of the arc is 20 times e minus 1 over e this is the exact value we can maybe find an approximate value for that by your calculator by putting this on your calculator and if you want to find the area of the roof area of the roof will be the length of the catenary which is 20 times e minus 1 over e multiplied by the length of the roof which is 100 so that will be 20 times 100 is 2000 times e minus 1 over e and that is the length of the catenary now this has been a very good problem actually i want you to practice this and see whether you can do this on your own